Hello friends, I am Sujoy and this is my another video on operations research video. Part 1 is already uploaded on YouTube. Link to the part 1 is given in the video description below. So today in this video I am telling you how to solve a 5 cross 5 transformation problem by the MODI method or the modified distribution method. So let's start. So in part 1 of the video I told you how to check the IBFS or initial basic feasible solution and how to do step 1 to step 2.3 for MODI method and in this video I will continue from step 3 that is I will continue from the looping. So before we start from looping let me tell you some recap. So in previous video we ended at step 2.3 that is we calculated the UI plus VJ values for all occupied cells and we calculated the del IJ values for all unoccupied cells and we have found that if all Z, uh, del IJ values are greater than or equals to 0 the present solution is optimal but if any of the del IJ value is negative the present solution is not optimal and we need to do the looping so in our case previously we had two negative values one at, at del 1 1 position and another at del 5 1 position so our current solution is not optimal and we need to do the looping to get the optimal solution. So that we will do in this video. Before we start the rules for looping let me tell you what the loop is. Loop is nothing but uh, a line which has some bendings and which covers through some cells and which ends at the same cell from which it was originated and the loop always starts from the cell which has the most negative del ij values so in our case we had two negative values and both the values were same so we have we need to make two loops for the same question and two loops will be different and we have to do two calculations for two loops we have to evaluate them or calculate them separately Rules for looping. Rule number one. The loop must be a closed loop. That is the starting and the ending cell of loop is same. Rule number two. Loop will start or end from the cell which has the most negative del ij value. If the value has a tie as in our case draw separate loops for each occurrence and test them or evaluate them separately. Rule number three. Starting from the most negative del ij cell draw the loop using straight line and bend it when needed but remember at each corner point of the loop there must be an occupied cell rule number four the loop can pass over an occupied cell which is not a corner cell however it will not be included in the calculation that cell which is not a corner cell but through it the loop has passed uh, will not be included in the calculation and remember loop can overlap that means a loop can overlap it rule number 5 in the loop path find out the smallest allocation value rule number 6 basically from 5 this is not rules basically these are the procedures procedure number 6 the starting cell will be a plus cell next cell which may be a corner cell will be a minus cell next cell will be plus cell next cell minus cell and so on that is alternating order of plus and minus till the end of the loop rule number seven add that smallest element which you earlier discovered so add the smallest allocation cell value to the starting cell that is allocation allocate there remember the first cell from which the loop will originate must be an unallocated cell and we will allocate the smallest allocation value in that particular cell that, we, that is we will allocate there next subtract the smallest allocation value from the next cells present allocation value remember our first cell or starting cell will be plus cell that means we will add there next cell will be the minus cell that means we will subtract there now for next cell which will be the plus cell again 
add the smallest allocation value with the present allocation value. For next cell, again we will do the minus cell, subtract the smallest allocation value from the present allocation value and continue this reallocation operation till the end of the loop. Write the reallocation matrix as a fresh matrix and check for degeneracy again. The concept of degeneracy I explained in the first part of the video. And if the present matrix or the reallocated matrix is not non-degenerate, then continue the steps 2.1 to 2.3. So for now, the rules for looping may be a little hard for you, but it would be easy when you will do the practical with me while constructing the loop. So this is the end of the part 2 of the video. I will continue the actual looping and I will tell you how to construct the loop and also how to find out the optimal transportation cost in the next part of the video. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please like and share the video. By that, you will encourage me to make more quality videos in future. And also, if you subscribe, you will be connected with me and get regular updates from me. So don't forget to share the video because sharing is caring. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.